Hey Fix says what's up? It's Chris, founder of Fix.com and in today's video, I don't know if you see it, but here behind me is my hometown Stuttgart. Uh, it has a few hundred thousand uh, visitors and those visitors like like say say we have uh, two or th two or three hundred thousand visitors or so. Uh, I don't actually know the number, but but uh, say it is like a couple of hundred thousand visitors. This is actually the number of people who are visiting Thingster in a given month. So we just crossed this magic uh, milestone of two hundred thousand people, uh, educating two hundred thousand people per month. And in this video, I just want to share you, so give you some overview of the vision of Thing Thingster. What what is our purpose? Why why do we exist in the world? So actually, to me. Everything is an organism, right? You are an organism as a, as a person. You consist, like you are the meta-organism of a, a couple of small organisms that interact together via a network relationship, kind of. Uh, so cells communicate with each other, brain cells communicate. So you are the organism that emerges from the interaction of the smaller organisms, bacteria, cells, and so on, in your body. And and it, it doesn't stop there. So we have this hierarchy of organi organisms. For example, you communicate with other people. You communicate with, uh, with plants and animals and everything we build a huge network uh, like in Avatar the movie so you build, we build a huge network of uh, of of, um, of single cells like of cells that are connected to each other building a huge organism and our capability as this organism what it, what emerges is a collective intelligence right so as the intelligence of, a, of say an animal or your intelligence emerges as the interaction of this network so as a collective as a as a group um, You be like there's some emerging intelligence. And a good example is a beehive or an, or uh, or ants, uh, where where you have like the whole uh, collective, like a beehive. They um, they attack threats. They resolve threats as as an, as one organism. So no matter the capabilities of a single bee, no matter what they are, uh, the collective is still very cap capable and intel and behaves in an intelligent way. And the mission of things is to increase collective intelligence to at least be one of one of the small wheel in this huge mechanism that uh, that allows us to increase collective intelligence. So uh, so my ideas are pretty simple. So I want to uh, to increase the role of code and machines in this collective intelligence, this collective organism Earth uh, that we build. So by, by adding a new type of uh, intelligence, which is machine intelligence or artificial intelligence, and adding it into the mix, we as a collective become more capable, the potential of, of, of us as, as, as an organism increases and our, put, our capability of solving uh, problems and threats like climate change, but also like uh, long-term problems like the sun is eating up the world for example resolve those issues by for example populating other continents so we as an organism for if you, if you look at what Elon Musk does Elon Musk stands on the shoulders of giants so he uh, builds on technological disruptions of the past decades of uh, from other people and he uses those to increase our capabilities to grow to expand the reach of humanity and expand the possibilities of bringing life to dead planets and to dead areas in the universe and and over the long haul this should be our, our main purpose in life right to increase collective intelligence to increase to, to make like the whole organism to expand the organism of life and bring it to all areas in the universe right i mean what else could there be <laughs> otherwise there would be just death and uh, destroy but this is just a productive thing this is this is we uh, playing an integral part as humanity to to uh, to populate and to increase uh, to populate the universe and to 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 create new forms of intelligence and new forms of life everywhere we are. Like if we if we for example, uh, yeah. So if you if you go like uh, populate a planet like Mars, Mars is a dead planet. If you bring life to the to the planet, I think it can only be a positive uh, force for good and force for life, right? And things that's just uh, like one wheel, as I said, in this in this huge machine. So we want to increase your capabilities as an individual. You, we want to release time, uh, resources that you then can reinvest to 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 make the the whole more efficient. For example, by becoming a freelance developer, by learning to code, by solving problems, and writing scripts that solve problems automatically, by uh, by uh, increasing artificial intelligence by researching and so on so by by like using computing to increase our capabilities you become a force of life you you make the world more efficient and this increases the odds of our survival and increases our capabilities to handle future problems increases uh, our ability as a, as a whole argue, uh, uh, organism and i think we are still doing too much work we still have too much dumb work in in, in society which we need to get rid of we need to release the energy used to perform this dumb work automate everything 
and uh, and be able to do some do more research to create more code to create more solutions to problems and uh, to enjoy life more be happier and um, and more sustained living a more sustainable life at the same time this is the role of thinkster so if you want to be part of it then uh, keep being an active member of the thinkster community i really appreciate you having you here and and assisting me in my mission of 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 um, of creating a more efficient uh, human organism at least like being one one small uh, wheel in the whole machine. Uh, thanks. Uh, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos and uh, be a part of the community. <laughs> See you in upcoming videos. Bye.